Like, subscribe, and get notified. The Supreme Court has struck down the electoral bond scheme, comprehensively struck it down, and all the provisions that were made to bring it into effect in the Income Tax Act, in the Companies Act, etc., everything has been struck down. They have held that this violates the fundamental right to information of citizens to know about uh, who is contributing uh, this much uh, money to political parties, etc. They have also struck down the amendment made which allowed unlimited con political contribution uh, being made by companies to political parties. So, not only the electoral bond scheme, but also the amendment which removed the restrictions on political contributions by companies, which were that you cannot contribute more than 7.5% of your annual profit by way of political contributions. That has also been struck down as uh, violating the level playing field in a democracy. So uh, the, the, the petitions filed by us have been comprehensively allowed by the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has uh, unanimously struck down the uh, electoral bond amendments. Most importantly, the, before the scheme, the amendments which were the basis of the scheme have been struck down from different enactments like the Income Tax Act, etc. And the Supreme Court's view was, which is fundamentally they agreed with our submissions, that this is public information is essential for the functioning of a democracy. And therefore, the public has a right to know who is funding their political parties. And if the public is denied that right, then that defeats the whole functioning of democracy itself. And therefore, the amendments which were introduced to ensure anonymity of the scheme have been struck down. And based on that, consequently, the scheme itself has been struck down. That's number one. Number two, what uh, was that there was uh, the cap, which was the corporate cap, that even loss-making companies could now donate under the electoral bond scheme without any limit. That also has been struck down because the court was of the view that clearly uh, a, a loss-making company or uh, unlimited corporate funding is not healthy for a democracy because those kind of donations will be made only for quid pro quo or to get benefit rather than genuine corporate donations for functioning of a democratic setup. So those were the two big findings but broadly the Supreme Court has agreed with uh, all our prayers. So we'll get to know the, uh, the bonding between those who funded and the politics of the country and also you will get to know the quid pro quo because nobody gives these huge amounts of money without a quid pro quo right nobody would give an electoral bond for 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs it'll be in crores right so if you've if you've funded uh, your political party with five to six thousand crores you can imagine um, only the rich could have um, done that and they must have in the process got some favors uh, and that's exactly what the Supreme Court says that nobody gives this kind of money without a possible quid pro quo. Now what that quid pro quo is something that needs to be investigated. So I think in a sense this uh, it provides for a level playing field in democracy mm -hmm. right and it also exposes the BJP to perhaps the biggest, uh, the Prime Minister keeps on saying, where is the scam, where is the scam, or where it is now, uh, Modiji, right in front of your eyes, your scam, this government scam, the scam that you used for the purposes of uh, political aggrandizement, the scam that you used for the purposes of, of, uh, of persuading people to join you, apart from the uh, ED and apart from the CBI.